for another dynamic duo, Block is Mutt. This month's theme is elephants. That's what we picked. And there's a little twist. Always there's a twist, right? Always there's a twist, right? We are no longer a dynamic duo. We're now a dynamic trio. So if you've been following along with the block of month, you know that Sylvia at UME FPQ and I have been working on the block of month every month since January. This month, we've added in another creator, Colleen from Colleen Sews and Chats. So please be sure to go check out both Colleen and Sylvia's videos. Link to their channels will be in the description box. And my elephant for this month is this. We all put their own inspiration and, uh, well, we put, we shared inspiration. We all picked our own interpretation block of mud. And some of you may recognize the elephant from the Paisley Splash pattern by Wyndham Fabrics. I will put a link to that in the description box. I believe it's a free pattern, at least when I went back into it, because uh, I had to go look it up. I forgot where I got it. Um, when I went to uh, look it up, it came up as a free pattern. So you should be able to get your own if you want to do this particular elephant quilt pattern. I really love the bright, vibrant colors. And some of you may know the Kate Bassett fabric. I am working with fabric given to me by a subscriber. Now I'll stop talking and we're going to get into the fun stuff first. And the fun stuff is. I already cut out all of the uh, that I needed elephants to get them put together. And I'll show you how I did that. And after we see how the elephant went together, then there will be, after we see how the elephant went together, then there will be a instructional section for those of you who are interested in how do I scan pattern into my scan type, how do you cut it out, and how do you uh, deal with the pattern itself in rather campus work. And I know that at least one person asked in the live for those instructions, so I'm going to put them in there. It does make the video a bit longer, so I'm not going to show you sewing down the quilt this time, but I will put the um, quilting of this. I'm going to quilt it just straight up like it is. Um, I'll put that up as a separate video. And if you want to watch that, then uh, sign up for... Uh, I'm going to put the quilting of this up as a separate video. If you're interested in that, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you'll know when I put up future videos. And I'd really love it. Go check out the link. All right, guys, so now we have all of our stuff cut out, and I've made an executive decision. When I put this video up, I'm going to start with putting the quilts together rather than with how to get to this point, because I figure most people are here for the fun stuff, just like me, and they want to see how does this come together. So I am using the Paisley Splash pattern from Wyndham. And I'm kind of doing some different things to it. I'm putting the elephant in like Wyndham does. I'm giving him an inch and a quarter from the bottom so I have room to put on binding or however I decide to finish this. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and iron down my elephant. Now all my pieces have heat and bond on the back and I've cut them out with the brother scan and cut. There are directions to that at the end of this video. All right, so now that I've got the elephant down on there, I'm gonna come up here and this is the fun part of the quilt. And I've cut out a mishmash 
of various uh, pieces from different kinds of fabric. I should probably get my pattern that I have or pull it up somewhere <laughs> so that I can see it. And I just kind of looking to see how they did. You know what I mean? And I know my face is not really good compared to elephant, but I don't know. I may not use all of these, but I thought, well, let's put Got a little bit of fabric. I didn't think I would use it all, but why not try? need to be as elaborate or not elaborate as one of you. My little piece on an elephant and I I want to Our this is the easy part. Literally just put them in. And I'm not going to iron them down. I was looking for fun, easy. I even cut some of the pieces just because I'll work. I just love the explosion of color. It doesn't really have to make any sense to anybody. Just you. I'm just going to get my iron and start cutting things. And I'm not really ironing, it's more pressure than anything else.
Chase sounds like he's gone. He lost weight. As you can tell, I'm just telling you things up to check it over. Somebody said that patterns are suggestions or design ideas. That when you're making it, it's yours. You can do whatever you want to do with it. At least that's my little frame. Wow. And all of these little pieces now, now I'm like, what? Is this? Pink over there. I'm trying to stay kind of away from the edge for the same reason that it's the yellow. Because I don't want to you know, find it. I'm just kind of odd just moving. Everything is ironed down. Now I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to do some straight line stitching around the little elephant, I think. That's too narrow for me to get down in there. And do a basket stitch or a blanket stitch. And then I may do some zigzag stitching around some of these. You may do straight lines, and I will tell you what I'm for sure going to do is I'm going to do a batting and backing to this before I start sewing. That will be a separate thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, so now we're going to scan our pattern in. And I've placed my pattern on the mat, the scanning mat. I'm going to scan the pattern into the Brother Scanning Cut machine.
It's really quick. It only takes a few seconds to do this. And once we have it scanned in, you can only do one pattern at a time and send it to your Canvas workspace on your computer, unless you go in and save it. But it's easier to do one at a time, in my opinion. And this one is the Paisleys. And I can send mine via the internet. Don't have to hook up a cable. The only thing I have to do is plug in my brother's scan and cut machine itself and then scan the pattern in. And then I can send it over to my Canvas workspace. And that's what we're going to do next is clean up a pattern so that we can send it back and cut it out without all the extra stuff on there. Okay, so I have imported on my cutting machine my scanned image. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move all of the ones that I need to see. I'm going to highlight my entire mat here. I want to make sure that I'm not deleting any of my pieces. I'm going to highlight everything that's still on my mat, and I'm going to press the delete button. It's going to clear my mat. Yeah, I need to highlight this. That took that off. Okay, so now I'm going to put everything back on here. I'm going to put them fairly close together. So I'm not changing the orientation of them very much at all. I'm going to take this whole map and I'm going to group everything together. And then I want to resize this. And what I want to do is I want to resize it to about half the size it was. Okay. Now that I've done that, I want to save this. I'll make a new folder. And I'm going to call it Paisley Elephant. And I'm going to open that folder. And I'm going to save this as Paisley. We're going to save that and then we're going to go up here and we're going to 
other informed about elephants. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to move the elephant off the mat and highlight everything that's on the mat. Hit delete. Then we're going to move the elephant back onto the mat. I don't really want to resize the elephant because I want the paisleys to be a little bit more. But I may bring him up just by here. I think that's, and then we're going to file. See the hour. And save the elephant file. Now we're going to export file. So I have already applied the dye to the back of my fabric. And I'm just going to go ahead and peel the paper. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. As far as applying the dye, whether or not you cut the fabric, I leave the paper off. Okay, so here we are at the scanning cut machine. And I want to note that I have already put Heat and Bond Light in the purple package on the back of my fabric. And I'm just showing that I am pulling the paper off. Sometimes it takes a second to start it, but that's okay. You can see that it's shiny on the back. You can see the light reflecting off of that. You've got the shiny part of that. And I'm going to fussy cut my elephant out of this piece. So we're going to grab our fabric cutting mat. Notice that the arrow is pointing into the machine. And then I'm putting the heat and bond light side down. And I'm using my hand just to make sure that the fabric is flat on the mat. You can use a brain tool to do this. My hands seem to be enough for this particular project. But if you're cutting intricate things, you may want to do a, use a brayer to do it. And all a brayer is is a little flat roller like you would use for seams. I don't know why I'm attempting to move those wheels. I know. <laughs> I 
And now we're going to load the mat into the machine. Press the button for loading the mat, and it will pull it in. You keep your hands off the mat from this point forward. The next step is that you want to scan your mat with the fabric on it. Of course, since I haven't used the machine in a while, I'm having to hear any play with it, figure out how to scan it. The good thing about scanning your mat is it gives you a chance to see if there's any of the fabrics that's lifted up anywhere. And I've skipped all the way ahead to cutting the elephant out where I want it to be on the fabric. I wanted that big flower kind of in the middle of the elephant. So that's what it's doing. And this is great if you're disabled in any way in your hands because the scanning cut will cut all of those little bumps and ridges that you might have cut yourself with your hands. Saves your hands a whole lot of cutting. Okay, so if you right, stay so now all that this time, God bless you. Cutting, I I'm going to unload the mat. What my if you have any like. question about whether and it's cut all the way, do not unload your very helpful skill. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for all you do, for watching, for liking, for subscribing to the video, and for being part of our community. Um, I think we've got the best group on YouTube. Who doesn't, right? Uh, and I certainly hope that you'll stick around for the next video which will be spoken to the Have a great day. Thank you for watching.